Kindred Longevity Lifestyle Designers. This is Govan here with Secrets of Longevity.com. I was on Facebook the other day doing my usual browsing and on the side of my screen where they show the top news stories that are trending either on Facebook or in the world, I don't know their exact algorithm, but obviously it relates to your search history and probably where you are in the world and things like that. But I saw this story which was just kind of like, wow, it's usually not something so random and ridiculous, but it was a recipe video that was posted a week ago and it's at half a million views so it's really not newsworthy. My guess is this was uh, an ad campaign so it was boosted up there because they're doing something for Facebook to get them to place it there. But basically it was saying that you know there's this easy to make omelet, you throw your ingredients in a Ziploc bag, seal the bag, squish it up to mix it up and then throw it in boiling water for 15 minutes. I just thought this was like are people this stupid? Do we not have enough awareness of the effects of these things out in society yet? Like we hear about BPA all the time, but I actually think people just believe it stops at that hard BPA plastic, like everything else is safe. Well, it's not. We have phthalates, which have long been known to cause effects, especially when it's used in surgical tubing with newborns, the effects are very dramatic and very quick acting. Polyethylene, the plastic that Ziploc bags are made out of, at least most of their Ziploc products, um, there might be some other plastics in there too, I don't know, but that was the one I could figure out. It is, or at least has been seen as a fairly safe one for a long time, but of course, anyone that had any kind of intuition about these things years ago when the first talk of the possibility of plastics being estrogenic would have generally assumed all plastics are going to pose some level of threat. Now, polyethylene, like I said, it was less considered a risk, but there's definitely a risk associated with it now and especially photo and heat degradation with it. So we're gonna watch this two minute video. I'm gonna comment here and there through it. It's pretty short. Um, you can check out the links below for a study on the effects of polyethylene. It is a known uh, potential cancer causing compound. Now the way it does this is plastics, they degrade into food or water or whatever they're in contact with. It could just simply be the oils on your skin if you're handling plastic products or you've got kids and they're chewing on the plastic toys. And these, Plastic compounds get into the bloodstream and they act as estrogen mimickers. They fit into these receptor sites and they have an estrogenic effect. If it's a girl, it's gonna mess up her own hormones, throwing her uh, possibility of fertility in the future off. A lot of people think of boys as testosterone driven and women as estrogen driven and it's not like that at all. Boys generally testosterone and a few other androgenic hormones are there and they fluctuate somewhat, but they're generally at a stable level. With girls, it's much more complex and cyclical. You have points in a woman's cycle through her fertile years where estrogen's higher. At other times, it's other types of estrogens. And then there's also the progesterone and other factors that you need in a good balance, which are actually reduced and suppressed by excess estrogen. So yeah, you're gonna mess up your child or your own uh, future health by feeding and or giving them toys that have the plastics infused into them. Anyways, I'm getting quite elaborately into this. I'm gonna do that a little bit after the video too, but we're gonna go over what this is talking about in this ridiculous recipe. Quick and easy breakfast with virtually no cleanup? Yes, please. These omelets in a bag are perfect for camping, family reunions, or a kid's sleepover. So I get the premise is like quick and easy cleanup. Like you don't have to wash a fucking dish. Like give me a break. You're using a bag that costs you money, you know, washing a dish is a little cheaper, first of all, I think that's higher on people's priority list. And when you actually see the prep time, it's easier to cook and wash a dish in the time it takes to do this anyways. But also just the name, like the name they chose, like omelet in a bag, like no one wants to make something appealing says in a bag within the title. Anyways, let's go on. For each omelet, add two eggs into a large resealable freezer bag. Press out most of the air from the bag and seal. Shake or squeeze the bag to beat the eggs. Now open the bag and add in your favorite omelet ingredients. We're adding two chopped slices of ham, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. That's a lot of cheese. It looks like a good omelet, but you know, this could have been done in a skillet. This could have been done 
in the oven, whole range of possibilities. One tablespoon of chopped onion, one tablespoon of chopped green bell pepper, two tablespoons of chopped and seeded tomato, two chopped or sliced mushrooms, and one tablespoon of chunky salsa. Now let's squeeze out the air and seal the bag once again. Gently turn it to incorporate the ingredients. Yes, massage all that plastic residue that's in that brand new bag into the food. You know, I remember using Ziploc bags going to school when I was younger, but I think what my dad did actually helped in the prevention of excess exposure to some of these plastics. I think my dad would only buy like one box of Ziplocs a year and we had to reuse each bag we used for like a month or more for everything that we would use Ziploc bags for. So we'd actually wash them out. And while in hindsight, I would have preferred not to have had Ziploc bags, by washing it out, you don't have that fresh residue that's in there. Like you feel it, it's got that glossy feel when you put your hand into a brand new Ziploc bag. But massaging the food into this as you're doing it, just it's like another layer of how much can we get out of this plastic bag and get it into our bodies, it's kind of insane. To cook the omelet, bring a large pot of water to a boil. Place the freezer bag in the water. Now you can cook up to eight omelets at the same time. So feel free to have them assembled ahead of time. Cook for 13 minutes. Okay, eight omelets in a massive skillet. It's just one big omelet or you do two rounds of omelets. They cook in less time than 13 minutes that you don't have to tend to and flip them around. Plus there's the added effect of bringing the water up to a boil. You're using more of your gas or electric energy to do that. Uh, it's just wasteful in the plastic, wasteful in the cost of the bags that you're just gonna throw out afterwards, wasteful in the uh, cooking method and excess time. It doesn't save you any time. You're still using a pot. So say you are going camping, you may as well just bring a skillet instead of a massive pot that you're gonna boil it in. You know, there's nothing you're actually saving yourself from doing with this. Then carefully open the bag and roll the omelet out onto a plate. If your omelet mix-ins are high in water content, you might need to cook the omelet for a few more minutes and drain off the liquid from inside the bag before rolling the omelet out onto your plate. Mmm, delicious plastic juices. Gotta make sure those get nicely incorporated in there. Now wasn't that easy? A perfect breakfast and cleanup is a breeze. You know, it pisses me off that this is the kind of shit that gets half a million views in a week. I mean, that's not even a lot in terms of like a viral video and lots of recipe channels um, do a good job in putting out good content, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, this is other, utter crap. It's mainstream crap that is completely devoid of any awareness of the health effects of putting plastic into boiling water for a quarter of an hour and then the environmental burden of tossing that at the end of the day. Um, yeah, those are not biodegradable bags. Uh, you know, I've gone over so many things here. It's just ridiculous. And if you see the comments, it's quite hilarious, some of the things people were saying. It's a lot of stuff I talked about in the video. People criticizing the voice of the person, that's kind of irrelevant. But it is refreshing and kind of like a restoration in your faith in humanity that people are pointing out the fact that, aside from the fact that uh, plastics are harmful to your body, that the freaking thing takes 10 to 15 minutes to cook or more than 10 minutes, 13 minutes they were saying in the video. Have you ever made an omelet? Like, it does not take that long. Surely if you do it actually on a slower temperature, maybe it does take that long, or in the oven you're gonna do it a little slower. So there's nothing really time-saving about it, except for the scrubbing of egg off a pot. But, you know, you do that shortly after you've made it, and it's not like that egg adheres on there that fast. If you leave a dish overnight and it dries on, sure. But we're not that pathetic in this day and age, so. I know all of you guys understand this, but I'm putting this video out there. Hopefully people will see it in the future, not just my subscribers. And we can, you know, wake up a few more people to these ideas of basic common sense around health. Plastics are a huge thing you need to eliminate from your life, especially in the form of Ziploc bags. Again, you open a new one, you put your hand inside it, it's got that slightly greasy feeling. It doesn't leave grease on your fingers if you take your hand up, but you can tell there's like that new plastic 
sheen on there and that is harmful. Uh, that's the residue that's going to get into whatever it is you're putting in that bag. As freezer bags, they're a little better, especially if the food isn't something that is completely liquid that coats the entire inside of the bag when you put it in the freezer. You know, say you make breadcrumbs, you throw breadcrumbs in a bag and put it in your freezer, it's not a big deal really, because when it's frozen, it's not having the chance to degrade. It's not getting a lot of light, so it's not degrading from the light either, and it's very dry, etc. But, you know, there's really no other reason to use plastic in that way. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, and let me know your favorite omelet ingredient and favorite way to cook an omelet, whether it's in the oven or on the stovetop, because we're not going to be doing omelets in a fucking boiling pot of water with plastic. So with that, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care and embrace life without limits.